here we are with the Isabel collection. A collection of 30 new characters for 2023. Favourites? Favourites? Have you got favourites? Oh, right. I was going to say, 30 favourites, that's all of them. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, I don't have favourites. You ask me this every time and every time my answer is going to be exactly the same. Everyone has its own merit. I think every single bear that we do is different. Um, each and every year I have massive conversation with Isabel about what we're going to do, what kind of characters we're going to feature. This year, with it all being about time and it being the clock tower, we've really sort of pulled in. There's, there's not too many that are these bright, bright colours with lots more traditional styles and beautiful little names behind them all and different limits that we've got and slightly different accessories to what we're used to. But we've left some firm old favourites in and we've also got some new little characters. So for anybody who doesn't know what the Isabel collection is, this is a collection which you've been going for many years, isn't it? Yeah, even before Charlie Bear. It is indeed. And, yeah. and we were very lucky to become, well, first and foremost, the global distributor for yeah. the Isabel collection. Yeah. But then now you and Isabel, the rest of the design team, work really closely together to kind okay. of bring out characters that you know are uh, going to be loved by our collectors all around the world. Absolutely, and it's a firm favourite now in the Charlie Bears collection. You know, we have different types of collectors, which we're always talking about. There's some collectors that prefer our plush collections, our bear house, and then there's the ones that are connoisseur collectors, as they like to be called. And, I, you know, it always makes me giggle, that word, I suppose. I'm a mixture because I can be a connoisseur. I do like my limited edition mohair pieces, but I also love my little bundles of fluff and my little bear house characters too. They are very sought after, often the first ones to get pre-adopted. Uh, we know that there's always, it seems to be this mad rush for everybody to get them pre-ordered with the various stockists globally. All of these 30 that you're seeing are available worldwide. It's not the whole Isabel collection for the year because there will be little sneaky peeks into our cuddle time shows, our best friends club. There's lots of different reasons that these bears pop up throughout the year, which is really exciting. Each one is limited edition. That's a numbered limited edition certificate, which range from as low as, I believe, 200 this year up to 400. So these pieces are the most difficult to find ordinarily. And at the launch of the new collection, they normally get snapped up very, very quickly. Is that that's fair to say? They do, yeah. So how do we get ourselves onto a wish list? What 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 do we how do we get involved in that? I could say a lot of these are available globally. So all of our uh, stockists that um, stock our Isabel collection um, all normally take wish lists. You do sometimes get to see them. You do a counter view on the TVSN show in Australia. Fortunately, we don't have enough to go around that they feature anymore on the QVC shows. But you can contact any of the retailers. Obviously, tune into TVSN show. Or if you really, really struggle, contact the Bear House here, the Australian Cup House, the American Cup House, because we can normally locate a bear. Charlie Bears Direct also has a portion of the Isabel collection as well, which is available for adoption. So there are lots of different places. Please don't despair. And, and that's really, really important because... There are some retailers that don't take no, pre-orders. Absolutely There's, not. No. Like, for example, we will do a wish list, but then we do a wait list. So yeah. therefore, if we hear of any cancellations along the way. Yeah. And, and so therefore, there's always generally opportunities to kind of get on to the is. wish list. I mean, yeah. obviously, some of them get completely oversubscribed and we get They that. do. But we do try our best to, you know, it's always a service that we've you know, offered here at Charlie Bears, where we try to match collectors up with their favourite bears. It may be that it's a retailer in America that's got one left or somebody in Ireland or, you know, but we do try to pair you with your bear. So like I say, if you do struggle, please contact one of the, you know, either the bear house or the cub houses, and we will try our very best to help you find your bear. Now we're going to be with the rest of our cubs, filming some very specific sections of the characters for yeah. quarter one and quarter two yeah. and then another quarter three and quarter four yes we've also got the virtual appointments uh section whereby mm. you can get a little bit more in depth to all these characters mm. so we're just going to select a couple of pieces to have a little chat about 
And then our favourites, the basically just pieces that we thought we'd like to talk about a little bit more. And highlight, maybe something that's a little different. So what about you, Charlie? What, what are you going to choose? Well, there's lots of ones that are always anticipated every year. I have to show very quickly the Charlie Mohair Year Bear. As you know, magically metamorphosizes every year into a new character. This year is no exception. We've gone, like I say, with, with it being all about time, we've tried to use a very sort of old fashioned color palette where we've been able to do that. So again, very soft shades, lots of different shades this year in the Mohair Bear. Now, also the one that has got the highest limit because we know she's one of the most popular. We know there are Isabel collectors out there, our Charlie collectors who love the mohair pieces, always tend to gravitate towards the year bear. So the year bear this year is our highest limit at 400 pieces. Everything else is below that. Mm -hmm. So this, yes, very, very quick sneaky peek at the Charlie mohair year bear. So I'm gonna choose for my first one to talk about, Two characters, because mm -hmm. this is what I always do. Can you guess who it is? I would probably guess, looking around, that it might be the puppies. <laughs> do you know what? You'd do really well in a Mr. Mrs. <laughs> Faffing and Totter. Yes. Limited to 300 pieces. Can we have a look at them, Charlie? They are Can you indeed. just bring them down quickly? Just... So, who have I got? There, you <gasps> have Faffing. Oh, my word. And I have little Totter. Come here, here Mr. Faffing. In fact... There you go. Can I have them both, please? You can. How are you going to be able to show Because they're going to the both sit here like this. There you go. Look. Gorgeous. They've got a slight wiring towards the ears. They're bean filled, so they've got that gorgeous little weight. We've got additional facial sculpturing. Again, we've you know, worked long and hard on all of this. The fabrics are absolutely exquisite. Like you say, they've been, they're both limited to 300 pieces globally. And the accessories are super cool as well. They've got that little bit of glitz on there. Can you see all of the extra beading that we've done? Like I say, on the little virtual quarterly videos that we're going to be doing, we'll go more in depth into each and every character and show some more of the accessories and things like that. But for now, I think if we just highlight, that's They're going to be the quickest way to do it. And these two are alpaca. They are. Yeah. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, choose another one for me, Charlie. I think that you have always, sorry, let me reach back, just nestle him down, I don't want to fall. She's very good at this. I think that you're She's going to probably choose this She's one. She's very good at this. Why? Because that is the kind of bear that you would buy me. So this, this is a bear which is normally mistaken for being something wrong with him. And the reason I've, I've kind of chosen him is because I personally love the sparse mohair. Mm. Absolutely love him. And so therefore, we can see on this particular character, we've got lots of very kind of balding spots where we purposely kind of shaved back. If you look on the arm here, um, if you look on the arm here, um, then it's uh, just shaved back. And then if we look on this section here, um, it's shaved back. So yeah, absolutely wonderful is absolutely gorgeous it's the bold spotting it's that antique look it's that finish that we've got but just look at the color and look how his little face with the extra airbrushing that we've done above the nose pulling it your face you sort of you look into his eyes you just completely get lost there and again these beautiful sort of minty greens now this is heirloom yeah now i was just looking what he's limited to charlie sorry i believe this one is 250. He is 250. Mm. Now he's got some more kind of partners. He in has. He's got there. some little standalone pieces. You'll notice we do bear pair where we can a lot in the Isabel collection because, again, normally as a collector, you're drawn to a particular style of bear yep. or a colour or, like I say, like with the plush, a little mini series. But we do do these standalone pieces. So Heirloom actually comes with Cogwheel. Cogwheel. Who's sat there. Is this one? And also, Ooh. if I reach back here. <gasps> He's lovely, isn't he? Look at the colour. Beautiful. Colouring. Absolutely gorgeous. And clockwise. And then put, clock. Now, I believe, let me just double check, I don't want to say the wrong thing, limited to 300 pieces and again 250 on clockwise. Just bring a bit more into The accessories that is. we've used on this, all the little inner workings of a little clock. So lots of little cogs, there's beads. 
they look great they together. Look amazing. But they're not supposed to be no. together effectively, are they? No, but I think we've been working really closely. <laughs> and like I say, Isabel and myself were sort of looking there and thinking, well, I know that these would normally be standalone pieces, but there's no reason why you can't make your own little hug, your own little family. There's a reason for all of that. Like with heirloom, with cogwheel, we've added the tear and repair detailing. It's not an old bear. It's just being made to look like it's an old bear. So I'm pre-loved and well loved. I'm going to choose one for you, Charlie. That I'm going to buy you for, well, just because. Just because. Just because. I'm going to go for that lady up there. Which one? Little Bronte. Bronte. I know. So. In the past, we've featured older authors and things like that. You think of Charlotte Bronte, Jane Eyre, you think of Emily Bronte, you know, all of those yeah. beautiful. And of course, she used to live very close to where I was born and brought up up in Howarth. We've also got Cicely and we've got Burnett. So they were the authors of um, The Secret Garden, The Flower Fairy. So again, lots of nostalgia in there. We've got Hattie Bears, as I'm sure you, everybody's already seen, which were great. Uh, we've got little Wilbur and Orville there, the famous men in their flying machine. We've got Miss Earhart. We've got Rold, which is absolutely amazing. And Tolkien and Shakespeare, they're above your head too. Mm. So no lots hiding of here. different looks. That's Rold. That's Rold? Yes. Famous Norwegian explorer. We've got Beaufort, uh, which is grey up there, the little wind scale that we've got, and Greenwich. And then in the middle, a slightly different fabric to what we're used to. We have played around with fabrics in the past That's where we've cool. introduced plushes, wool blends and plushes into the Isabel collection. It's not always alpaca and mohair. We've done three little clown bears this year, which absolutely adore these fabrics. Mm -hmm. I've actually seen quite a famous brand with some gorgeous office suits, desperate to get hold of one. But we have happenstance, serendipity and lady look. And again, very low limits because we could only managed to procure so much fabric for those. So like I say, 30 different characters, lots of different looks. We've got little art movements. We've got Raphaelite, Renaissance, Baroque, you know, lots of wonderful names. Little Gala, Little Jubilee. We will go more in depth on the virtual appointments with these, but the last one I'd like to draw everybody's I, attention I to. knew you were going to go for him. You knew I was going to do this. Do you know what? I knew you were going to finish on him. <laughs> why? Why? Why do you I think? know why. Because he comes with his wonderful little clock watch. Now, I just have to put a little disclaimer out there. These may not be in working order. <laughs> so please, when you get clock watching, his accessory is a little pocket watch. But it might not work. If you just pop the top there, if you press, Ooh, there, you go, there you go. It opens up and you've got this fabulous, fabulous little accessory. That is just fabulous. They're great, aren't they? And I love that. We've got clock watching and timekeeper. Look at that. So that might or might not work, Charlie. I think there's every possibility it won't work. <laughs> I would rather say that it didn't. And if you, if it did, you did manage to get one that did work, then you have an added Well, bonus. it's apparently it's 25 to 6. But please don't return him because six. his watch is not working. So 25 to 6, apparently. Well, that stopped working a while ago. <laughs> So that is our Isabel collection for this year. And like you said, we're going to meet all of these characters in a lot more detail. We are. At both virtual meetings, uh, yeah. the virtual appointments, mm. and also at the quarterly videos, which we're going to do in two separate sections, indeed. which is really exciting. And you can look on the Charlie Bears website on the library, and we will have every single bear listed there with very beautifully well-lit white shots. We also have the PDF brochures and flip books that are available. And please don't forget, the catalogue we've designed this year, we put so much time into it. It's been a massive team effort. It's exquisite. It's beautiful and definitely worthy of anybody's coffee table. Now, I've got one last question. Where's the Minimo collection? As everybody will know, we have launched a Minimo collection this year, which is part of our Mohair collection. But we're going to showcase that at a different time. I think too much of a good thing. Oh, OK. So we are going to meet the Minimo collection. We are. This year? On a cuddle time show. Oh, right. Cool. Okay. So one to wait for, one to look out for. One definitely to wait for. The, the Minimo would not be part of the general release. Not every single stockist will have the opportunity of, should I say, not every single stockist will be holding that because yeah. very limited the Minimo this year. So it's more of a postal. 
Brilliant. One side, I think it's better that we feature it in its right place. So that is the Isabel collection. Should we have a look at some amazing lifestyle shots? I think we need to. Take a closer look. We actually find designing the catalogues and the covers and choosing the colour schemes and everything just as exciting as the collection. It's always the last thing that we do with the collection once we've named and themed and sorted all of that out. But the collector's catalogues are collectible in their own right. Yeah, we've, indeed. Yeah, we've learned that now. There's always people looking for them. It's like I say, if you're a Best Friends Club member, you should have received yours. If you're not, they are also available to purchase on our website, so do take a look. I'm quite an old fashioned sort of girl. I like my coffee table copy sat there at home so I could keep going through and filling out my little bear wish list in the back, giving you hints. I know, right? <laughs> even I have to give hints, even I put my wish list in with Will, because it's much nicer when you surprise me and buy me a little bear, isn't it?